What's going on, Gifted Hands family? It is Elijah here bringing you another lesson. And today we're gonna to be talking about E flat major theory and harmony, specifically not related to gospel. We, we're doing the gospel sauce, the gospel theory, the gospel harmony, all that good stuff. I um, mean, continuing on with the series, we've already done C, D flat, D, F um, up to this point. So we're almost halfway through all 12 keys. We've almost made it halfway through. And I just love the support that y'all are showing for these videos. I love that y'all are engaging with them and that you're enjoying these specific lessons. So we're gonna go all the way through all 12 keys, all right? So continuing on with this series, if you haven't been following, we're just talking about everything that you need to know to be comfortable with playing in E flat specifically today. I um, mean, then if you're already comfortable with the basics, then we'll also towards the end of the lesson get into more advanced concepts and how you can take um, the basics, the foundational things that you should know and build on top of them. All right, so let's jump right into it. We're talking about E flat today. So the first thing you need to know to be comfortable with playing an E flat is the E flat major scale. It's that simple, all right? So E flat major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, all the way back down. All right, simple seven note major scale, like all the other ones. So we got that, that's step one. Step two is going to be to learn the diatonic chords that correlate, correspond to the major scale, all right? So if you don't know, diatonic chords just means that for there's, well, a major scale has seven notes, right? And so each of the seven notes in the scale have a corresponding chord that goes along with it or that, you know, it kind of belongs to. So here's our seven diatonic chords. One, two, three, four, uh, Five, six, seven, one. And then have a little fun going down. All right, so one through seven. All right, those are our diatonic chords. After you get comfortable with those, then now you want to go into um, the third step, which is going to be learning the cycle of fifths for this specific key. And the cycle of fifths um, is just a chord progression, kind of similar to the diatonic chords, um, but it's a chord progression that allows you to hit all of the seven chords that belong to this key, all right? But in this exercise, we're just gonna be playing them in a different order than we did in the last exercise, okay? So this, the progression goes like this, it's real simple. We got the two chord, the five chord, the one chord, four, the seven, the three, the six. All right, and then we can just loop it at that point. Two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, uh, seven, three, six, two. Something like that, two to one. All right, so that's our diatonic, uh, well not even diatonic, because that's just a cycle of fits. It can be diatonic, but then you can take it a step further and start to experiment with the harmonies and um, adding melody lines. You can even add passing chords into that progression. Um, but just start with the basics. And then as you understand the basics, build upon them. And then you can start, you know, adding some different modes and altered chords and extended chords and all those types of things to those exercises. But just start with the basics. If you want um, more information, a detailed look at uh, like a beginner's approach to those exercises, I've laid out and um, recorded a full masterclass for you all, for you, um, that you can check out. The link will be in the description. It's called the Gospel Keys Masterclass. I go over all of this in detail. I actually cover those three things, the major scale, the diatonic chords, and the cycle of fits in all 12 keys, laid out super slow, super simple, and I go from a beginner's approach to it, to an intermediate approach, to an advanced approach. I'm kind of like what you just heard. So check that out as well, all right? But those are the foundational things that we need for playing in any major key, specifically today talking about E flat, right? So after we get our foundational concepts, our basics in, we got a good place to start from, right? So then you might wanna be going uh, on to the next step and trying to figure out, all right, so I already know, you know the basic chords. How do I 
take that to another level? How do I add upon that um, on top of that and, you know, make my own sound, kind of make songs fit me and add some chords that might be out of the key and some things that, you know, don't line up with the scale exactly. How do we, you know, add that advanced flair, that professional flair to it? So uh, one, my suggestion to, to you um, and to anybody out there is going to be to just simply take songs that challenge you, right? Take songs that you don't know, um, take songs that you're not comfortable with, that have new chords that you haven't heard or different chord voicings and licks and passing progressions and things that, that are going to challenge you, right? And learn them. And not just learn them surface level, not just learn how to make it through, but study these songs. Like take one song and study it and break down every single part in the song until you understand as a whole how everything works together, how the bass, the drums, the keys, the auxiliary instruments, strings, horns, like everything. Learn how all that works together, all right? So we're gonna take a song kind of real quickly, real briefly and break it down to kind of show how we might be skipping over some things in songs that we could be pulling out and adding to our plan, all right? So we're gonna use this song, Jesus Is Real, John P. Key, dope song, dope artist, all around, great tune to um, take and study. So, uh, yeah, and this song is in E flat, so it works out perfectly. So let's just look at it from the top, and we'll kind of go section by section and figure out where are some thing, what are some things that we might have been looking over in the past and some ways that we can kind of teach ourselves, hey, let's pay attention to this, let's pay attention to this, let's pay attention to this as we learn songs in the future, all right? So uh, the song just starts off like this. Da -da. Two, five. Jesus is real, I know the Lord. He's real to me. Uh. All right, so that's the beginning of the song, right? And <clears throat> the first thing, learn the intros. That's the first note, like learn intros, y'all. I don't know how many songs I, like when I was growing up and playing, you know, my parents at the church growing up, um, I would learn songs to play on Sunday and I like, wouldn't even learn the intro to songs. I'd just be making stuff up, right? Because I didn't have time or I just, not even I didn't have time, I didn't spend the time to learn the full song. But psh, the intros, they, man, some of these gospel song intros are bomb and they got stuff that you need in your bag of tricks, right? So for this song right here, da -da. It's pretty straightforward intro. It's a lick. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Two sus, two dominant, five. So that's the intro. It's not too bad, right? Five. All right, and then we're going into the verse. All right, so make sure y'all start learning intros to these songs. Um, like even another song that comes to mind more than anything. It took me forever to learn that intro. Like I don't even know why. Uh, when that first song first came out, I just did not learn the intro. But I, I, maybe it's because some of these intros are challenging, you know. But challenge yourself and learn the challenging things. So moving on with Jesus is real, we got the intro, and then we go into the verse. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Um. So going through the verse. Back in the day, if I had learned this song, I probably would just try to figure out the basic chords, right? So that would have been something like, Jesus is real, I know the Lord is real to me. A, uh, two to the five. Jesus is real, I know the Lord is real to me. Uh, I probably would have did that, right? And that, that gets by. But if we just take a little bit more time, a little bit more attention to detail, we'll figure out that the full chord progression is Jesus is one, three dominant to the six, to the two, to the five, one, three, six. And then in the first verse, they do three, two, or sorry, four, three, two, Flat seven, six, five, flat seven, six, five, right? And then they go back into it. Jesus is real, I know the Lord is real to me. 
All right, so the, the verse has m more chords than you probably originally would play, right? So we gotta pay attention to that. One, three dominant, six, two, five, one, three, six, and then they do the passing progression. Four, three, two, flat seven, six, five. All right, some details that we can pull out and add something when we're playing this song. This sounds way, this don't sound bad, right? That'll get by. But when we add. When we add that, it just adds more life to the song, right? It adds more fullness to it. And it's we're playing it how the song was intended to be played. All right, so we got that for the first verse. And then even if we take, I'm gonna jump to the second verse of this song. Listen to this song, pull it up, John P. Key, Jesus is Real. The second verse, they do a similar movement um, where they kind of venture off from the basic chord progression. So in the second verse, it goes, Jesus is real, I know the Lord is real to me. And then they do that. <clears throat> but Jesus is real, I know. We got the same basic chord progression, right? One, three, six, two, Five, one. And then we're doing six, two, flat six, flat five, to the five. All right, some more details. So we got those in the verses. That's something to pay attention to. Make sure you're catching all of the chords that are being played. Not only all the chords for the basic progression, but even passing chords, passing progressions, those types of filler things that aren't necessary, like that and this. Those aren't necessary. Like you don't have to play those to get the song, but if you wanna take your playing up and you wanna be able to figure out chords in any song, like if you just want to be able to say, hey, I want to add something extra to this song to make it sound more full. You do that by figuring out in actual songs and, you know, recorded songs, what they do and then kind of mimicking, copying or just understanding how you can approach things. All right. So we got that in the verse, verse one, verse two. And then let's see what else we got. Um, let's just keep keep it moving from the top. All right. So Jesus is real. Verse one. No, the Lord is real to me. Um, Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Okay, here we go. End of the verse. All right, so at the end of the first verse, we go, Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Three, six, walk it down chromatically to the one. So we have that movement. Six, walking it down chromatically to the five minor, to the one. And then we're going into, actually, I, yeah, that's the chorus. I'm, call, I'm gonna call that the chorus because they're singing Jesus real, so I'll call that chorus. Then we're going into the verse. Um, so sometimes when I'm feeling low, don't know it's right to go. Jesus is a friend. And, all right. For I know. is real that's in there that lick so more details we can pull out licks if you hear a lick in a song learn them like it's gonna help your technique or not even your technique but it's gonna it's gonna help your hand speed. It's gonna help, yes, yeah, somewhat your technique. You gotta have proper technique to be able to play licks and scales and things of that nature. It's gonna force you to build technique. All right, so um, at the end of the, or in the verse, yeah, going back into the chorus. Um, sometimes I'm feeling low, don't know which way to go. Jesus is a friend, oh, I know. Oh, Jesus is real, da da ba ba da da. Right, so that's more details we can pull up. And then they do the chorus again, and then from the chorus we go back into the verse. So let's kind of fast forward 
to that. Um, sometimes when feeling low, this is like the second verse. So they have a turnaround. Um, the second time that we do the verse, they are going to repeat it like three times and then go into like a vamp section after that. OK, so since we're repeating the verse multiple times in the song, they do a turnaround just to connect the two. Right. So that's something that you can learn. It's super detailed. It has a bunch of passing chords and progressions and something that is good to learn. Uh, so how does that what happens with that turnaround? We'll call it. Uh, sometimes when I'm feeling lower playing the verse, don't know which way to go. Three. Jesus comes along. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Jesus is real. So that turnaround, da 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 da. We're playing a melody line or like a line. Da, 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 da. Six, two, five minor, six minor, flat seven, seven, uh, one sus to the one dominant. I can feel it in my hands, feel it in my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play one more time. Jesus is real. I can feel it in my hands, feel it in my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so we got that turnaround in there. Even there's a bunch of like, if you listen to yeah, closer to the piano part, towards the end of that section, uh, I can feel it in my hands. They do some quick little passing, like passing filler stuff. It's not even passing chords. It's just like more so filling notes. Filling in my hands, filling in my hands. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Great stuff in there. All right. So if you're not already, if it will actually, I'll say this. If you have the basics down, you want to take a, another step up. You want to kind of learn some more stuff. Start learning songs in more detail. Try to figure out every single note. Like start learning some songs note for note. If you feel like you got basic chord progressions down for songs, then start learning it note for note. Cause a lot of these gospel musicians who are playing on these records are doing intricate things that you can barely hear, hear until you pay attention to the small details. All right, so hey, that's it for today. That's it for E flat major. I hope you got something from this lesson. We'll be coming back soon with E, F sharp, G, and then we'll be working our way up all the way till we get through all 12 keys, all right? So y'all stay blessed, stay practicing, stay, keep growing, keep getting better at your craft, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Have a blessed day, all right?